How you like this place? It's pretty nice, right? Hey, do you know that if you look at the color green for a long time, it like soothes your emotions and stuff? Just saying. Hello world, my, oh, that is bright. Keep these on, all right? My name is Artemis, my name is Artemis. Art, actually you can call me Art. A lot of people call me Art. I don't know how that's important. You don't care, do you? Just watch the video. I was driving through the countryside here and I had to stop here in this field on the side of the road. And between two towns, there's a like a farm town over there. Not a little place that I haven't gone to yet because I just thought it was really cool. I love places like this. There's some like an orchard right back here. There's like a wheat field. Uh, I'm no farmer. I don't know what all these things are, but they look great. I was driving through this area, looking around, seeing the beautiful countryside, and this thought kept popping up in my head. Just stop and enjoy it for a minute. And this is something I struggle with all the time. Like. Oh, you can get a go, go out there and get a nice photo. Yeah, yeah, I could, but I probably won't. <laughs> and I just keep going, and uh, I don't know. It's just this just goes to show you an extra 15 minutes is not gonna kill you. It's not gonna change your day for the worse, but it could change your day for the better. Everybody's been talking about this five-second rule. I guess you've heard of it too, right? Uh, Mel Robbins was talking about it, how whenever your mind tries to dissuade you from anything, you just start counting from five to one. And on the count of one, you, you get up and do it. Whatever that initial idea was, you just go for it. And I don't know if that rule can be applied to everything in life because there's just so many ways that we can get ourselves in trouble with that one. Did you ever see that movie, Yes Man? It's kind of like that. It just go for everything. You, you gotta know when to apply it. Well, that's a good guideline. I think a better rule is to just focus on the moment. Is this idea that I have something that I can do now? Well then, do it. You know, is it gonna take a lot of time out of my day? Is it gonna mess up my plans? Is it gonna... Can I fit this into my day? And if I can, then go for it. I talked about overthinking in one of my previous videos. There's a link around here somewhere for you to check it out. Um, but one thing is to overthink like a big decision. And another thing is not to stop and think about something that you can do right now. There are plenty of ideas, there are plenty of things that we can still fit into our busy schedule. Moments like this one, when we can hit the pause button on whatever we're doing, and when, uh, when we can stop and, and breathe and think, these are crucial times in our day that we don't get enough of. One of the biggest decisions that people make is not making a decision. It's postponing any kind of change. It's, it's not thinking about what they want to do. A lot of people don't pursue their dreams. They don't go after those ideas that they have in their head because they never give that idea any time. Next time you're driving through a field like this or you notice anything that catches your attention, try to think of the moment. Try to check if you can fit that into your schedule because if you do, you will get a few minutes of, of calm and peace to think about your ideas. Have you checked out the view from the roof of your office building, your apartment building? All we need to do is change the angle of view a little bit to get a different perspective. And those different perspectives can also trigger a, a different way of looking at our life situations. You know what's kind of funny? I left my car on the side of the road. By the time I was done filming this, there's like three other cars beside me with people walking around in the, in the orchard over there. It's pretty cool. This works. Try it out.